Alright gang, I've been doing several videos of the die-cast cars I've had from the 70s and early 80s. I'm kind of burning out on them. So what I'm going to do is I grab four more cases, and this is probably going to be my last video for a while. I uh, haven't looked in these cases in some time, but I think that red one to the left, it might have newer stuff in it that I bought because I thought it was cool looking. But we're going to check all four of these out, one case at a time. All right, so this is the first tray out of the, the first case. The second tray is completely empty, and it's a miscellaneous batch of cars. We'll start with the black Matchbox Jeep. Not sure when that one came out. Uh, not sure where it came from. It's in pretty good shape. There's a Corgi van. Don't know where it came from. Ah, uh, uh, yet means. Chevy pickup, Chevy Love with the step bed, Chevy Love with the step bed. I remember when people were doing that back in the 70s and 80s. All right, there's a Chevy Blazer, which is pretty cool looking. Oh, on that, oh, the hood opens on that, but the engine department is pretty weak. Now, this car here, I recall getting it out of a box lot. I don't know what it is. Hold on a second. It's a Mazda Matchbox car. It's got a gear shifter on the roof and a knob in the back glass. And it has a stunt wheel on the bottom. Can anybody tell me what that is? Now when Ford built the EXP, I thought those were some super cool cars. They looked really good for a small car. But this one's a friction one. I don't know anything else about it. Uh, I got it out of a box lot along with that yellow Mazda. Then there's an oversized Majorette Corvette. There's a Yatming Plymouth. And some kind of, is that a Citrion, I believe? Oh, in case I said it wrong, that's a Xylmex. It's not a Yatming. It's a Xylmex. Alright, case number two is all, as I mentioned, newer stuff. A little Datsun the little type one the Ford pickup Torino Talladega panel van uh, Ford now if I recall correctly and, and to verify that I would had to go and dig out my son's stuff I think the original release of that didn't they have flip front ends on them Mustang I don't know why I bought that vet but uh, it is cool looking Ranchero Torino, not sure who they that van out there, but um, got WFW on the side of it. Badlands van, Volkswagen station wagon. I remember buying that because it is so cool. I always wanted one. I almost bought one, but when I got to look at it, the front uh, the roof over the front seats was cut all open and replaced with plexiglass, so I left it alone. And uh, what is that Nissan or Toyota I can't remember which one it is pretty cool alright Chevelle Wagon Roadrunner SS that's just a cool looking old truck from the late 40's early 50's another Chrysler another Torino sorry this right here has to be my most favorite one in this case this is, uh, I believe, by Husky. Way back when, I think I was 16 years old, when I saw this brand new hanging in the toy store. Or, yeah, I think it was KB Toys, but I never bought it and I always wanted to. I actually got this one off of eBay and in a set. The other one was a, a Type 2 Volkswagen panel van and it had a radio detection service on it. Uh, I had to figure out what that was and it's pretty interesting. I don't know what happened to that, that van. It's got to be somewhere around here, the other van. But on this one, the green top comes off. And open, the bed is open. It's really cool. Really cool. Oh, yeah. See, it's something I don't understand. Ford's the number one selling truck in the world for many, many, many years. And Hot Wheels and Matchbox really don't do anything with Ford trucks and cars. 
I bought this thinking it was all plastic because I thought it'd be really cool to set, put in my fish tank. Uh, of course, I can't do it because it's got metal. Couldn't pass that up. That was just awesome. No clue where that came from. And I bought that, I think, at a flea market for a quarter. It's just really cool. All right. Case three, we got a farm wagon. It's missing everything, but it's in really good shape. Whoops. All right, some kind of cool fire equipment, emergency equipment, but it looks like it's missing everything as well. No clue where that came from. There's a Citrion by Husky. Don't know where that came from. Now, I had forgotten about these. I think these were the cars from South Georgia to Lake House. Uh, they'd always been down in there. We got a garbage truck. And all these, I think, are Lessonies as well. A big dump truck. I guess that might be a super fast Cadillac ambulance. Rolls Royce and the trunk lid opens and the trunk lid is still there. A Ford garbage truck. Uh, an emergency vehicle. I think there was supposed to be like a boat or something on that roof. I uh, can't recall of that car. An old dump truck. Fire Chief and Police Galaxy. A station wagon held together with rubber bands. It looks like a, the Mercury version. Uh, no windows. That's a repainted Continental with a trunk lid still attached, but it's held together with rubber bands as well. It looks like it was pried apart and repainted and never uh, secured back. And another Mercedes ambulance or a Mercedes ambulance. All right, there's a tow truck, but it's missing a boom. One boom, though. Uh, so it's maybe I can get creative and find another one in bad shape with a good boom on it and swap it off. And uh, there's this ambulance. I really was never really crazy about it, but it still has this rear door. And there's this matchbox truck. And I think it's supposed to have scaffolding in it or something. All right that one and that one both these Volkswagens I had as a kid I loved those Volkswagens and the, and the tops are still on them they still work British uh, passenger bus not exactly sure where that one came from I don't recall it at all I recall this man I love those this has got the chrome grill missing the white camper top I think it had a camper top on it originally there's a 280. That might be a Citrion. I'm not 100% sure. Is that a Maserati maybe? Wow, something all over that one. That's a Chrysler. I believe Chrysler. Got a police car. Ferrari. Some type of race car. Oh. And there is a double-decker bus that says, you'll love New York. Not exactly sure where that came from. Okay, because I love these Volkswagens so much, I'm going to show you that both the, both the roofs are still intact. Uh oh, get back down. The ironic thing is, is the steering wheel is missing out of this one. Don't know why. But their right hand drives at that. All right, gang, for now, this is going to be the last updated of some of the diecast car collection I have. Now, as I said, and I think I said it in all the videos, is, you know, a lot of the stuff is played with and survived. That's why a lot of it is not in pristine shape. None of these cars are for sale regardless of the condition they're in. Uh, if I have duplicates or triplicates, sometimes I may trip uh, trade those off, but rarely does that happen. I... I guess when it comes to my old toys and guns and other other things I collect, uh, I'm a hoarder. <laughs> All right, gang. I'm going to end it here. I do appreciate it. Thanks for viewing.